Hello and welcome to this tier list video where I will sort all the Blender modifiers in the Generate category in rankings from S to D. They are alphabetically sorted just like the menu list in Blender and I will pick one by one to sort and comment them. So without further ado let's get started. So the first one is the Array modifier which is pretty cool. I would place it in category B. Um, it's very helpful for yeah, copying, especially in a radial pattern or on a curve, for example. Um, that's the most handy tool for operations like this. So for creating copies and multiple versions of an object or of a geometry piece, very, very helpful. So this is clearly a B ranking modifier. So now the bevel modifier, this is a A rank modifier which is already pretty high because of course it's necessary for a lot of things yeah creating sloped edges and it's just necessary for realistic light on edges yeah to capture all of the reflections there so bevel is extremely important and easily a yeah an a rank modifier it's also very helpful for low poly modeling where you just want to create a little bit of a diagonal edge and not a 90 degree edge which almost makes it look very blocky and very hard so that's pretty cool in general yeah top modifier easily a tier so the next one is the boolean modifier which is also an a tier modifier because it's just very helpful for cutouts and intersections and all of that stuff yeah when you want to yeah subtract an object or even add an object to another object um, to match all of the edges and so on so that's very very helpful yeah, most of the time needs um, a cleanup after being used, but still very, very cool modifier and yeah, nice for volumetrical workflows where you just add or subtract volume of another object. So that's also A tier, very clear. From the top now, let's get all the way down to the bottom with the build modifier, which is a D tier modifier because it's more or less just a little toy basically and not very useful. So yeah, that's not a very helpful modifier. That's why it's placed in D. So it's basically just hiding or deleting faces one by one and it's not really useful for anything. Yeah, as I just said, it's more of a toy a little bit, but yeah, I've never used that for anything in my life. Yeah, so that's just a D tier modifier, not often useful. I've never used that in a real project. Then the decimate modifier is way better here. So this would be between A and B. And it depends a bit on what you're working on. I think I would place it maybe in B, but it could also be in A. So it would be reasonable to put it in A as well. I personally think Think that's yeah on the same level as array so it's not as useful as boolean and bevel i think um but yeah we can discuss that it's also an a tier so it's between a and b yeah it's in general very useful for reducing the geometry resolution so to get rid of some geometry and still remain with the yeah roughly original shape of the mesh object and of course yeah by doing that it can be used yeah for creating game assets or web assets which have to be performant and just have low poly count yeah and just low amount of geometry so that you can load them quickly and so on so decimate very useful for creating assets to your yeah, foreign engines so it should be in b or in a so let's come to the edge split modifier and this is the first one which i will put in c because it's sometimes useful to split certain edges on a mesh but it's not as useful as these two here. So that will be a yeah, C rank modifier here. Because usually I split edges manually by hand and I like to have more direct control over this. But of course you can also split edges with this modifier and that's why it comes in handy sometimes. Um, so that's why it's in C and not in D because you can use that here and there. So to summarize it, when needed, it's handy, but usually it's not required for most projects. So yeah, it will be in the C category then. So, and now we've come to the biggest competitor here, the geometry nodes modifier. And this here 
is all the way up here in the S tier, no doubt at all. Because the geometry modifier is the best modifier in Blender, of course, yeah? So you can recreate almost every other modifier with geometry nodes and a million more. So programming your very own modifier, yeah, maybe other versions of these here, is just very, very helpful. And yeah, you can create your own modifier for every specific case. And yeah, this can't be beaten by any other modifier. Because you can just approach almost every problem or task with geometry nodes, yeah, by changing the data stream of the object. So no doubt S rank is very, very well deserved. So now let's come to the mask modifier which is also in C here, which is yeah sometimes helpful. Because with mask you can hide specific faces for better overview, for example, or some visual effects, but used seldomly and yeah, thus on the C rank, you can just hide some areas of the object. It can be helpful, but it's not totally useless, like here the build modifier, for example, but in general, it's not the best one, so it will stay in C. But what is helpful is the mirror modifier, which is a very high level modifier, which yeah will place it in A rank. Because yeah, mirror is just super, super cool yeah, for symmetrical models to save a lot of work and time. And often you just have to model one half or even one quarter of the finished model. And of course, yeah, it's um, often used and very handy. So we yeah, are clearly a rank modifier, yeah, just because you will use it in a lot of projects and it's super helpful and it saves a lot of time and you can preview everything before applying the modifier. So super, super cool. Yeah, mirroring your object in multiple symmetry axes if you want to clearly an A rank here. So I will pick this here now to leave it in alphabetically order. So multi-resolution will be also, I would say, a B rank modifier. Um, yeah, it can't be used in edit mode, so it's not as good as subdivision surface modifier, for example, but it's very useful for creating normal and displacement maps um, to transfer high detail data from a high resolution model to a low resolution model, um, for example, on photogrammetry, so on 3D scans. So it's cool to like transfer data from A to B, and in general, it's quite useful, but in most projects, it will be replaced by the subdivision surface modifier, and and thus it's placed in B rank. It's cool, it's good, but it's being replaced in most cases, so it will remain here in B. So let's go on with the next one, remesh modifier here, extremely helpful. So this will come all the way up here on the A rank. It's yeah, extremely helpful, as I just said, yeah, um, for lots of cases and clearly placed in A rank. Um, you can recalculate the volume of an object with it with some hole tolerance, super useful for repairing meshes, clean up after editing, especially for 3D printing also. And it can also be used for volume modeling for a super fast, rough, first approach on the shape, yeah, before you add details or start to sculpt, for example. So these many use cases puts this in the A rank. Totally clear, super cool modifier, remesh for the volume calculation. So let's go on with the screw modifier. This is also helpful. I will put it in the B rank here. Um, yeah, screw modifier, yeah, helpful for evenly, cylindrically and radially shaped objects, like for example, vases, where you only have to draw the silhouette of the object and then it will make a 360 turn of that silhouette to give it that cylindrical shape. And aside from that, it's only useful in some special cases, but you often work with cylindrical shapes where you just want to create the silhouette, which makes it relatively useful. So cool modifier, no doubt. Um, yeah, not an A rank modifier, but a solid B rank. So now the skin modifier, um, this will be also placed in B, so below here. It's a bit similar to the screw modifier. The skin modifier is useful in some cases where you want to quickly create objects with branches or limbs and so on. For example, a tree. And yeah, in general, creating mesh geometry around edges like with the skin modifier can be very handy. And it can also be an alternative to the wireframe modifier. So this is very helpful, no doubt. Um, so this is also a solid B rank modifier. Now we will come to the solidify modifier, which is also an A rank here. Also very, very helpful and often used 
in yeah many many projects yeah solidify of course yeah very helpful to give flat surfaces a volume via extrusion and yeah super handy for 3d printing as well to make objects hollow yeah because if they don't have a wall they will be printed solid but if you create a wall with the solidify modifier you will make the object hollow and it's often in use for yeah easily just to make thick walls out of flat faces and polygons so very often very useful in lots of cases so well deserved a rank super cool modifier and now again we come from the top all the way down to the bottom again with triangulate here it's seldomly useful that's why it's placed in d in blender some actions where triangles are required like in sculpting you can also apply it there or the quads are converted automatically. For example, if you work with dynamic topology in sculpting, it will automatically change quads to triangles if needed. So yeah, in many cases, you don't have to use that. And in general, rarely useful, that's why placed in D. And I mixed the alphabetically order a little bit up, sorry for that. Um, so yeah, now we'll come to subdivision surface here, um, which is 100% in the a rank here no doubt at all it is used in most projects super useful as even a modeling workflow named after it in blender yeah the subdivision surface modeling where you just yeah work with rough models and then with the subdivision surface modifier it will be smooth and relatively good controlled so yeah that's without a doubt a rank used in every project super handy and what should i add now clearly an a rank modifier so now again, we'll come from the top to the bottom here, volume to mesh node, yeah. Also ranked in D because yeah, it's rarely useful. Some effects are possible when playing with meshes as volumes, but that's not enough to be placed higher here. You can be a bit experimental with your yeah, volumes as meshes and so on. That's not a very useful modifier in general. But here in contrast, the weld modifier, which is also placed in B here, super cool. The weld is the modifier version of the merge by distance operation. When you use weld, you can preview your merge geometry pretty good. So this is yeah very valuable for cleanups and geometry reduction also when you want to have an even resolution on the whole object. Because yeah, weld will give the whole object an even geometry distribution and resolution. Or of course, yeah, very helpful just as merge by distance used for deleting double geometry for example double vertices and so on that's easily a b rank modifier and now we'll come to the last one here wireframe and this is also yeah between b and c somewhere here i think i will place it yeah maybe in c but you could place it in b because so in general it's the easiest method to visibly render the wireframe of an object so that's good um but the wireframe geometry can look a bit weird and sharp so the shape can look a bit weird um and we could also for example use the freestyle tool in blender to do that also which is like a post processing effect but wireframe is the geometry version of that to easily create the wireframe visible in the render if it would have more sliders and options to control how it's applied on an object it would be in b but since i can't control it very good it's just not that useful so it's good to have in some cases and very easy to use also but lacks variables and beauty so i will place it in c okay and that was it all the generate modifiers sorted in a tier list I hope you learned a bit about them and now have an overview of how useful they actually are. Of course, different 3D artists will rank them slightly differently, but I think in general that's how they are viewed in the Blender community. But if you think otherwise, let me know. Then maybe I have to correct something here. When you found this video helpful or you learned something, feel free to subscribe to never miss anything and now have fun modifying and see you soon.